Hello everyone and welcome back to the new Football Manager 2018. It is finally released. We have the copy of the beta. I am recording 20 minutes after it came out. That's how long it took to download a 10 gigabyte file. As you can see, this is the loading screen. Now, one thing that you won't be getting that I am is the cool background music that has come up as soon as the game started. I would like to include that, but I would also like to avoid a copyright strike and having this video taken from YouTube. So I'm afraid that is a surprise you'll either have to hear on someone else's channel or you will have to buy the game and I'm amazed if you haven't already because it would have meant you'd have got access to the beta had you bought it through Steam. Now I've just loaded up the game for the first time, we've got past the logo, we've opened up uh, or accepted the uh, license agreement and this is the first screen that you see, it's setting up your manager profile. I've already filled in my name there with Giancaldo, my nationality and my favourite team which is of course Newcastle. And by the way, sneak peek announcement, that is going to be my beta save as it was last year. Every year that I've ever had Football Manager, I have started with Newcastle as my club. Now this is the other side, it is the create your own manager. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. I will um, just leave that blank actually, I'm not too fast. Height, weight, a little bit under my weight there. Um, not to over flatter myself at all. I actually don't mind the look of this manager. I might change his suit colour though. Is that something we can mess about with? Oh, let's give him a red suit. That's going to look terrible. Wow. And some maybe, let's go, what do green trousers look like with a red suit? I like it. That's nice. Let's go for tie. Blue tie. There we go. Nice blue tie. Excellent. He looks like a child catcher. Brilliant stuff. That is exactly where we want to start on here. Um, at uh, tactical manager, that's the kind of manager I like to go with. I'm not going to mess about with the rest. Obviously, you can also upload your face if you want to. Uh, 3D model from your photo. I'm not going to bother with that because I've got a right ugly mug, hence no video. Quite like this uh, new screen. He used to stand far back in the distance, uh, but now he's standing right up close. Obviously, if you've got access to the beta, you can see right here that it's got the beta build notes. If you encounter problems, and you will, do remember to submit them, otherwise they will continue when the main game does actually come out. So you need to make sure you do report all of the things. Looks like you've got standard career mode option and create club option. Uh, I never really do anything other than career mode, so we're going to jump straight in on there. You could mess about with the preferences. Obviously, no logo set up right now. Good to see Cosmin, who is a viewer of the channel, is also playing Football Manager, but not the new one. Cosmin, you need to get on it. The beta's out. Um, I am going to start with Newcastle. We are actually going to start um, our proper series right now. We're not going to play much uh, around with the actual game. We're just going to load the database up, go from there. It looks like it's running pretty quickly. Football Manager does get faster every year, as far as I can tell anyway. I'm running it on a MacBook Pro, though, so that is more advanced than a lot of other people tend to have with a computer. Uh, and I do recognize that. I'm not going to mess about with the leagues. They're not massively important. I don't want a huge database. Game's going to run perfect on this level. Um, do we want to change any of this? No, we want to use real fixtures. Don't add players. Don't disable budget. Um, but we do want to prevent use of the in-game editor for all those people out there that think I am a cheater. Um, <laughs> the next game, uh, let's start the game right away. I don't want to mess about. It might take a minute just to load up the databases, but I don't think it will. Um, first impressions, it looks a little bit more sleek. I'm not seeing a lot of change from last year. It certainly doesn't feel different, but I am probably one of the few people that doesn't like the game being messed with too much. I like little upgrades over time. Big upgrades just completely destroy a fan base and they polarize it more than not actually changing much. Um, and to be honest, given I play well over a thousand hours of Football Manager every single year and have done for over a decade, I think 40 quid is a bit of a snip. And when you get it with the loyalty bonuses as well, it comes down to about 30 quid, which is even better. Um, so I don't complain. I like the game as it is. I like just having the database update and I like little improvements that I get excited over. Um, although I know that everybody is not like that. To save time, I am going to let this database load right now. You can see it shouldn't take too long, actually. We're already at the setting up League and Cup competitions, um, and I will rejoin you as soon as that is finished. Well, yeah, as you can see, it has now loaded. It takes you back to your manager profile page. You can see already did that earlier. Um, so let's just use the profile. Um, I tend to not really bother about this. I like the balance between tactical and tracksuit, but I know, I mean, I suppose there are certain things... Obviously, I don't need fitness, not something important. I'm going to be managing a big club, so I'll knock attacking and defending up because that can fill a hole. Same with goalkeepers. Tend to have two or three goalkeeping coaches. Don't need that, so that means we can rack up tactical, mental, 
um, and working with youngsters, which is a big part of my game. Um, let's knock technical down, which might make us suffer, but I would rather have... Um, oh, no, you can't mess with those. They've balanced it out on each side. Interesting. Um, what do we want? What do we want to kill? Youngster knowledge? I, oh, I don't know. This is difficult. These are more important. These have always been more important. I think I'm going to have to leave them balanced. We've used all the points. Let's just go with that and click confirm. Um, would you like to start playing or add additional managers? Do not show this message again. Who plays with two managers at the same time? Um, and here you go. This is the landing screen. Let's very quickly save this as a Newcastle uh, save. And then we can get going from there. Super Bowl 145, another viewer of the channel, now playing Football Manager 2017. Um, I have recently started... Uh, except to people that add me on Steam, by the way, which is why you're seeing these notifications pop up. Um, right now, I think the mark of the beta, or release of the beta, is making everything a lot more interesting. And here you go. This is the loading screen. There are a lot more options here than they were before. Dynamics is brand new. Uh, Medical Center, interesting. Um, board, finances, everything else, all right. We've got our next match in seven days. That's a nice preview screen. I accidentally clicked on that, but I already like this. Um, because I love knowing the next team that we're playing. It used to be a bit of a pain getting all this information, but here it is on the screen. We've got the report. Manager will compile that, so we'll, Scout will do that. As soon as we do that, we can see match information, the rain. The weather is actually really important if we know what is coming up. I assume that will change over time. Surely they haven't predicted it, especially when you've got a fixture in about two weeks. Um, fixtures coming up, today's fixtures, that's all quite interesting if we click the briefing not a suitable time for a match briefing but that will eventually come up you can see these little marks here will help you with things i've clicked expert but i wanted to know new features which is why you can see that we've got sidebar there let's go back to the inbox you can see been hired as a new manager quite like the pictures um i'm surprised they haven't let the avatar show up there that's a little bit disappointing um board want to welcome me 54 grand a week is that it i'm a premier league manager um we have an assistant manager, uh, Joe Joyce, still at the club. Um, and everybody else will stay on. I am going to skip the meetings because I never really do them and they always come around eventually. Uh, it's a 125-year history. That's a nice little thing, expecting things to go well. Transfers. Uh, you can see the players got out on loan. Uh, no real legacy there. No injuries and responsibilities look cool. Still got the social feed, which I don't mind. I don't really use it, but it is something there. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys ever used the social feed last year. I really didn't. Uh, the news screen I tend to use a lot just for knowing who's being tracked and if I can snipe a quick, quick transfer or cheap transfer from another team. League screen, quite useful around the world. Transfer window, always big one. Let's click on the squad. You can see this has changed a little bit. Um, it's alright, I always create uh, custom selection info because I like different bits on here but it's actually not far off what I would normally have um, I think they've changed the default setting to what people actually use and want in there um, and I might, you can see there's a big space here so I might add in their transfer value wages, things like that which could be useful um, but this is cool that they've automatically loaded it up like that um, register the team, nothing different there, international quite interesting uh, players on loan, helpful to track the players on loan, that is useful as well um, and extended leave for those that need to go away, not too much there we've got dynamics which is a new uh, new mechanic here, so this is worth spending a bit of time on, we've got match cohesion players have not yet developed a good level of understanding, uh, which affects positioning, this is really useful to know dressing room atmosphere, pretty good um, but nobody here very happy uh, managerial support, club to see what it should take club in that's fine influencers that's a new one you can see who the biggest influencers influences are i am the manager we've got team leaders jack colback is the biggest team leader the sales is captain highly influential mitrovic shelby dummit richie be interested to know what the real life players make of the team hierarchy football manager do some link ups like they normally do with afc wimbledon um they do it with watford they do it with everton i think um if they do those link ups it'd be interesting to get their opinions of uh what these hierarchies have been ranked and how the uh, clubs actually see that. Um, we've got social groups. This core social group, secondary social group, that is fascinating. I am going to love playing around with this and trying to keep things in the same place and everybody trying to stay happy. And there's the happiness as well. You can see what the happiness is. 
and what the happiness is in, which is also very important. So when you get that silly wanted thing, uh, it's because they want to move away. Um, but they don't seem to have one for transfer unless it's the club. Um, it must be the club option there, but they all look settled, even the ones that are transfer listed. Uh, so maybe they should have added one here for transfers. That's all I would say. You got your team meeting up there if you want to have a team meeting. Tactic screen looks pretty swish. I like the little circles on the pitch. Can create a new tactic. Um, set to formation. Let's go for 442. The old style classic. You can change all your roles. This is quite similar. I know they've added a couple new things. So you've got Mazala. A uh, modern interpretation of Mazala, a central player that likes to drift wide and operate in half spaces. Essentially a central half winger. That's quite interesting. Uh, and the Carrillero, um, a shuttler. Supporting role, utilised as part of a midfield three or a central two in a diamond. The job is to shuttle, to cover lateral areas of the pitch, make defensive midfield. A bit more like an anchor. Um, separates them from box to box. They're not expected to shut between boxes, merely between the lines of midfield. So it's kind of like that number 10 roll up front, but in a defensive aspect. Or is it? Yeah, I think it, I think that's probably the closest description I could give to that. There are new player roles across the pitch, as I understand it. None up front. Um, in defense, uh, clicking on the wrong one there. Let's pick a player. Um, but that's quite helpful, actually. Accidentally clicking on that pick a player. I like that, because you've got all the players in their positions, uh, how good they are. Preferred position, average rating, and role ability. That is helpful. Very, very helpful. Um, goalkeepers, nothing new there. It's always goalkeeper, sweeper, keeper. You got your set pieces. Set your set piece takers. Um, I assume you can do free kicks. Yeah, there we go. Uh, captain, match plans is an interesting one. Let's create a new match plan. Um, let's just put this in as first. Um, add a scenario. Oh, this is exactly what we wanted. We no longer need to switch to overload. This is a dream come true. You can set this up for big teams, little teams. If you win by three goals against the minnow, you might just want to absolutely go for it, get the goal difference up. Um, if you're drawing against a big team, you want to shut down. Um, and you can set the time as well. Oh, that's going to be a lot of preset tactics being used there for different matches. That's an excellent idea. Full credit to F FM for getting that right. Very, very excited about that. Um, there's going to be so much more to play with in this game. You've got to understand that. And individual opponents and opponent instructions is now easier to apply. Analysis has had a lot of work from what I understand, but we haven't had a match yet, so it's hard to take a deep look. Got a team report. No real different from last year. You've still got your squad depth, all the stats. Staff, same as last year, as far as I can tell. Responsibilities. No new real responsibilities there. It's pretty much... Oh, there's quite a few new actually. But most of them seem to be training, contract renewals, transfers, transfers incoming. Um, the training screen looks pretty similar as well, doesn't it? Nothing different there. Medical center, new area. Um, lower than normal level of injuries. We like to hear that with our current training schedule. That's only because we haven't done anything. Risk assessment. Um... Injury susceptibility is below average for most. Uh, very high for Hazus Gammas. No recurring injuries, though. Um, normal injury risk. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Because if you've got a tired player, you now know whether they're at risk or not. Uh, fixed your screen. Looks pretty usual. Competition screen. Same as always. Scouting. Right. I like this already. We've got an option here for different things based on what the scouts have put forward. Um, I wonder... We've got the analyst report, keep scouting, we could discard it, acknowledge it, make offer. Um, currently operating on a leading Sky, but le <laughs> Sky League 1 level. I'm not sure that's the kind of player we want in the Premier League, if we're being entirely honest. Um, but I like that, that looks cool. I don't know if you can skip to the next player without getting rid of it. Maybe if we acknowledge it, yeah, it does skip to the next player. But how do you go back to the previous one? Three remaining, clear all. How do you go back if you change your mind? Hmm. Maybe there should be a back button there. Um, we could do a player search and set the different ratings. We've got Oscar's the best player that we can sign, which is quite cool. Um, a few options here, actually, of good players. And that always used to be the problem with Newcastle. Weren't, there weren't big players, but it looks like all the Chinese players are open to coming back to the Premier League if we can afford them, which I doubt we can on a £10 million transfer budget. Clearly, the Mike Ashley legacy is going to continue for us. Um, hopefully, he will go in real life soon. Uh, transfer centre looks about the same. Um, club screen, 
oh, that's depressing, isn't it, as a Newcastle fan? Let's go back to these times. Those were great times. Um, or even these times. These weren't too bad. Um, <laughs> but you can see this is the same setup as it was before. Same general information, news, facilities, affiliates. Maybe we can do a bit more work with affiliates. We can negotiate them. Look for a senior affiliate. That's helpful. Um, board screen. Let's see what board requests we can make. It looks pretty similar to me. Maybe you guys can let me know. It looks like they're trying to do something with the affiliations this year. though. That's something you might want to look out for. In my experience, if they add a new concept to the game, it is crucially important to how well you're going to do. So when you think back about those groupings in the squad dynamics, that is going to have a huge play on the mechanics of the game this year. So do not underestimate them. They are really important if they're new additions. Uh, finances screen looks all right. Income, expenditure, wages, FFP. Good to have this here. It's interesting to know what's going on there. Debts and loans. I'm glad that that's back because we can build up the value of a club again and really get some acknowledgement for it. Uh, and we've got the projections, which I spend a bit too much time looking at. Um, and you can report a bug just by clicking here, which is incredibly helpful. Um, let's just go forward a day and see. I'm afraid that I can't show you a game today because this is my main save. This is just a very quick reaction. But the first episode of my Newcastle's FM18 beta series will be out tomorrow. So do not miss that. It will be out tomorrow. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and it will just be for the duration of the beta, maybe a little bit longer, and then I will start a long series save, which I have not decided on yet. So let me know in the comments. I would quite like to do a lower league journey, but how we go about that is up to you guys. So let me know what you think. If you've got a team that you support and you would like to see me do, then do let me know. Obviously, we can change things. I'm not going to mess about with this right now. That is for when I sit down and really give this game a go, um, having a look at those different things. Squad report looks the same. You've got a scouting center. Which is quite nice. It is just that screen. I just wanted to check. Uh, start the transfer window. Premier Division opens. And the social feed, which we can deal with later. But that is going to be it for a first look at Football Manager. Um, I'm quite excited to get started on this game. I cannot lie. Um, I love every new version of Football Manager that comes out. But based on this, if you haven't got access to the beta, let me know in the comments what you think about first impressions, the user interface, all the different options. Doesn't look like there's a huge amount of change. Um, to me, the dynamics looks really cool, and I'm really excited about that addition. But it doesn't look like there's too much been added to the interface and the background stuff of the game, which is where we spend most of our time. Uh, so it'll be interesting the kind of setting up the tactical responses when goals go in and different things like that. That is going to be really useful and really interesting. A lot of fun setting that up for different games, and the dynamics is going to be really cool. I'm very, very excited for that. But I did expect maybe a little bit more from this on first impressions, but I have to admit, first time I've ever even opened this game. Uh, so I am totally reserving judgment until I've started playing, got through, through a few games and really started to do some transfers and things like that. But if you wanna see those more advanced aspects of the game, do subscribe to the channel. Make sure you catch the Newcastle series when it comes out. Drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed this first look. And let me know if there's other things you want me to investigate in the comments. And I will go and do that. I'm going to be very responsive to the comments over the next few days. I can't guarantee a steady stream of videos because tomorrow I am going on holiday for five days. And it's going to be difficult to upload abroad. Um, but I am going to try and bang out a bunch of videos early tomorrow morning before I get my flight. And hopefully you'll have content for the duration that I am gone. We will be going back to daily content from now on. For all the people that love that, it will be back to daily content. Sometimes more than once a day. There will be experiments very, very soon because I'm very excited about getting started on that with this game. But that is going to be it for now. Drop a like on the video if you're excited about the new game. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see that Newcastle series. But until next time, see ya.